Hello Genians! Our problem solving for today is about differential calculus. Our CA board exam question for today which was given last November 1996. The question, a normal window is in the shape of a rectangle sur surmounted by a semicircle. What is the ratio of the width of the rectangle to the total height so that it will yield a minimum admitting the most light for a given perimeter. Now, this kind of problem, this is, involves differential calculus. So, <clears throat> to solve this one, of course, as usual, we have to make a rough sketch of whatever figure given so here it is a semi it is a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle that means the semicircle is put on top of the rectangle so if this is the <clears throat> rectangle This is a window actually. And we are, it's surmounted by a semicircle. So it is put on top. So <clears throat> if a semicircle that means we have the the ridges of this one. And we will designate the height the total height which is from here to here the total height of the window is equal to h and we will designate the the reduce to be x and the height of the rectangular shape which is y that means this width is equal to 2x because this one the radius here of course going round and round the circle the radius are the same so this one going to this side it will become from this end to this side is equal to x therefore the width of the rectangle is equal to 2x because this is in the center and this is x, so twice of that will become 2x. Therefore, now here, we will use only the formula for a perimeter. The perimeter of a rectangle plus the semicircle. Now, the perimeter for a rectangle is equal to <clears throat> just the total uh, length of the sides. Like here, for example... So the perimeter <coughs> So the the perimeter is just the total of the sides plus the uh, side of the semicircle. Now for the rectangular side we have y and this is y so it will be 2y. So 2y And uh, this one, of course, if you see this one, y plus 2x plus y, so 2y plus 2x. <clears throat> so this is the, for the rectangular side. How about for the semicircle? Now, circle, the perimeter of a circle is equal to <clears throat> 2 pi r. Here, in this case, our r is equal to x. So, 2 pi x. This is the perimeter of a circle. Now, it is because it is a semicircle, that means it is 2 pi x divided by 2. Therefore, <clears throat> here, we will add the perimeter on this equation. 
So this one plus 2x plus y should become 2y plus 2x plus this side which is equal to 2 pi x which is the perimeter of a circle but it is divided by 2 because it is a semicircle. Therefore, <clears throat> P therefore, if we will simplify this one, P therefore is equal to 2x plus 2y plus pi x. As usual, the value of pi is equal to 3.14 in radians. But in if this is in angle, the pi is 180 degrees. Now, <clears throat> therefore, from this one, we can simplify this one. We can, because here, what is required here, it is the ratio of the wheel, which is this one, to the total height. That means the wheel, it is the ratio of the wheel over the total height. This is the one we're looking for. Now, <clears throat> we have the perimeter here. We got the perimeter, as I said, y plus 2x plus y plus this side, which is equal to 2 pi x and it is half because it is a semicircle, so divided by 2. Therefore, P is equal to 2x plus 2y plus 5x. Now, we can simplify this one. Y, therefore, is equal to P minus 2x minus pi x over 2. Or, simplifying further, this is equal to 0 0.5 p p divided by 2 minus <clears throat> 2 x uh, sorry 2.57 x so this one af uh, after simplifying from this one this is the result y is equal to 0.5 p minus 2.57 x this, we can call this one as equation 1. So, aside from the perimeter formula, we will use also the area of the rectangle plus the surmounted semicircle. Now, if we will take the area of this hole, the area of the rectangle is equal to the length or the height times the width, which is equal to y times 2x <clears throat> plus the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Now, pi r squared, r, r here is x, so x is squared. But because it is a semicircle, so it is divided by 2. Now, from this equation, we have the value of y. So, we can substitute this value to this one. Therefore, area is equal to <clears throat> the value of y, which is equal to 0.5p minus 2.57x. That is the value of y, 0.5p. plus pi x squared over 2. This one, we substitute the value of y from here. We substitute it is here. So 2x times 0.5p minus 2.57x plus pi x squared divided by 2. So if you will simplify this one further, area therefore is equal to px minus 5.14x squared plus pi x squared over 2. Area, therefore, is equal to px minus 3.57x 
squared. Now we have this area. We have to differentiate the the value of <clears throat> area, which is equal to px minus three point five seven x squared. Now, <clears throat> to differentiate this one, the we'll take the derivative of the area with respect to the derivative of x, which is equal to p because x the exponent is 1, so 1 times x raised to the power 1 minus 1. This is a power rule, so it will become 1. x to the 0 is equal to 1 minus 3.5 multiplied by 2, then x raised to the power 2 minus 1. We put This is the, the power rule. Put this one here to the exponent, then x raised to the power 2 minus 1. Therefore, <clears throat> simplifying this one, dA dx is equal to p minus 7.14x. Because the derivative of area is, is equal to 0 with respect to x. Because it's not changing. So this dA dx therefore is equal to 0. Which is equal to P minus 7.14x. X therefore is equal to 0 0.14. <clears throat> this is our x. Y. is equal to 0 0.5 p minus 2.57 times the value of x which is equal to point, point 0.14 p y therefore is equal to 0 0.14 p if you're looking at the ratio, we have the total width which is equal to 2x. So, 2x divided by the total height which is equal to h. So, the total therefore of height is equal to y plus x. So, this one, we can substitute the height here to this one. Therefore, the ratio is equal to 2x divided by the value of y, which is y, plus x. So, 2 times the value of x, which is equal to 0.14p divided by the x which is equal to 0.14p plus 0.14p. The ratio of the total width with respect to the total height is equal to 1. This one, simplifying this one, it will become 1. So our answer is here.